In this video, I will introduce you with CMOS logic. After that, I will talk about some features of CMOS logic. CMOS stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor. In brief, CMOS. The growth of digital techniques like the microprocessor has provided the motivation for advanced MOSFET based technology faster than any other silicon based transistor. And the main reason for the success of the MOSFET was the development of digital CMOS logic which uses both P-type and N-type MOSFET as building block. The great advantage of CMOS logic is that they allow no current flow and no power to be consumed except when the inputs of the logic gates are being switched. CMOS accomplishes this by complementing every n-type MOSFET with a P-MOSFET. and by connecting gates and drains together when the gate voltage will be high when we will apply a high voltage at the gate the n mosfet of the cmos logic will conduct and the p type mosfet will not conduct if we apply a low voltage at the gate terminal, our P MOSFET will conduct and N MOSFET will not conduct. Now I will talk about the characteristics of CMOS logic. One great advantage of CMOS logic is that it consumes extremely low DC power. usually in the order of 10 nanowatt and it has high packaging density this is why this technology is becoming more and more popular and finds its widespread application in the fabrication of LSI chips as well as SSI and MSI chips. Other advantages include high noise immunity, high fan out capability and wide range of supply voltage. Now I will point out each of them individually. First point is power dissipation. We know that a CMOS logic circuit is composed of a pair of PMOS and NMOS logic. One of the transistors of the complementary pair of CMOS gates is always at off condition while the other is at conduction or in on state for example if i say during the operation if pmos transistor of the complementary pair is in off state our nmos will be in on state or if nmos is in off state its complementary pmos will be in on state in this condition the power dissipation of a CMOS circuit is extremely small and it is in the order of 10 nanowatt and this power dissipation is known as DC power dissipation.
however at the instant of switching the output changes from high to low or low to high state this is due to the fact that during the transition both the pmos and nmos are in conduction and this leads to spike in the supply current therefore during the transition in the output state an appreciable amount of drain current id flows moreover any stray capacitance in the output has to be charged before the change in the output takes place therefore the charging of the capacitor requires an additional current that is drawn from the power supply resulting an increase in the supply current that means this charging of stray capacitance will draw additional current from the supply as a result we will get additional drain current that will be drawn from the power supply the average power dissipation in cmos device whose output is consistently changing is called active power dissipation and the active power dissipation increases with the increase in the supply voltage as well as frequency during the operation the power consumption of a cmos logic gate is around 10 milliwatt if we operate the cmos device 10 megahertz frequency region therefore at high frequencies the cmos circuits lose their advantages the propagation delay of a standard cmos gate ranges from 25 nanosecond to 150 nanosecond and this factor propagation delay pd depends on the power supply voltage and other factors now i will talk about the voltage levels in cmos logic cmos circuits can be operated over a voltage range of 3 to 15 volt a supply voltage of 9 volt to 12 volt can be used to obtain the overall best performance in respect to high speed and noise immunity when cmos logic gates are used in association with ttl logic gates the vdd power supply voltage is made of plus 5 volt so that the voltage levels of the two families are the same the next point is noise immunity the cmos logic family has the highest noise margin among all other logic family and it depends on the operating supply voltage vdd and the noise margin of the cmos logic family is typically 45% of the operating supply voltage for a supply voltage of plus 5 volt the noise immunity or noise margin of the cmos circuits are around 2.25 
The next point is current sourcing and syncing. When the output of a CMOS logic is at low state, it draws current from the driving gate in the order of 1 microampere only. That means the sync current of CMOS logic is only 1 micro ampere and when the output is at high state the CMOS circuit delivers a source current in the order of 1 micro ampere only and and the worst case in case of input and output currents could be i i l max will be minus one micro ampere i i h max will be one micro ampere i o l max will be maximum 10 micro ampere whereas IOH max will be maximum minus 10 micro ampere the last point is fan out the fan out of CMOS logic circuit depends on the type of load being connected And the fan out of the CMOS logic circuit could be greater than 50. That means we can connect more than 50 logic gate of CMOS logic family at the output terminal of a CMOS logic. Okay, that's it. Thank you.